Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. I'm going to look at the IBM Selectric here and talk about hubs a little bit. So here's our 3D reproduction new hubs, very nice. And here is a cracked hub under here. Cracked but not split. Cracked, it's got the hairline cracks in there. You can see it, but they're not to the edge yet. They're pretty close. There's a bunch of them in here. So you can see them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Looks like four, maybe, on that hub. But uh, they're not cracked to the edge. The hub is still good. So they're like these cracks here. Crack and a crack. This one only has three. But... Before they crack to the edge, two things can be done. You can put in a metal ring, melt it in there, and that's really a good repair. Preventative, probably going to stop it from cracking. But you have to take the machine apart to do that, to get that ring in there. So there is a preventative way that's been around for a while, and it's drilling or melting a hole right up here right on the edge here at the end of that crack. You do it to all these cracks and hopefully that stops the crack, stops the stress, stops the crack at that point and doesn't let it get past to this point. So that's the theory behind it. I've seen that kind of work and I have actually been doing this, this method I'm going to show for a couple years on machines that qualify for it, which is this type of hub or that type of hub. So here is the method that I have finally figured out. I made this out of a coat hanger so it's got just the right angle and just the right length where I can grab it and not burn myself and then I'm going to heat it up and I'm going to find that location and I'm going to push it through and melt a hole right through there while it's in the machine. And that goes like this. So I'm going to crank up my little torch here give it a little demo on this piece here first even though I'm going to put a ring in here at some point but I'll just show the method so if this is in the machine like that I'm going to heat this up pretty hot so I need it to go through all the way and then I'm going to stick it right in here push it right on through like that and pull it back out. So now we got a hole in there right at that crack. So that's what I'm going to do here on these guys. I'm going to try to do it on camera for, for you. So let's see if I can get in here and get to this. Get my torch over here. And now I need to some more light down here. Let's see what I'm doing. And I'm going to hit that one first. Right there. So, And uh, like I said, I haven't had any of these come back yet. So, so far, I guess it's working. Right there, there's one. So I've got that poked all the way through. There's another one right there. And, uh, you know, I'm going to keep an eye on these and see if it's a valid method to use. Or a that one almost wasn't hot enough to go through. Let's do that one next. But it might just work. Okay. That one is pretty close to the other one. So I think the more cracks there are, the better stress relief. So it has four or five cracks. It's better than 
two or three cracks because it uh, spreads out the uh, stress between the cracks. Okay. Looks like it. I think I did that hole. All right. Not sure if there's a hole there or not. Send this back in there and see. Nope, that's the last one right there. There we go. So, I'll keep an eye on that. I'll mark this machine up here that I did that and uh, what date it was done so I have a little reference point in the future. But that's the uh, hack of the day for IBM Selectric hub, try to prevent it from splitting all the way. Alright, Pink Sapphire. Good day.